Uh, well, hello and welcome to the devotion for Saturday, uh, April 18th. <laughs> uh, if you got your paper, you see that the devotion comes from John 6 today, actually the latter part of it, I believe, starting with verse 52, uh, going on kind of to the end of the chapter. And I want to go down to verse 66, where it makes a statement, from this time, many of his disciples, meaning followers, went back and walked with him no more. Uh, we're six days removed from Easter. And Easter is a time that many people get excited about, it, and it's the greatest message in the world we should. Uh, and I don't mean this badly, but for many people, and of course this year we know we didn't get together together, but in a typical time, uh, Easter can kind of be a one and done. In other words, it's Easter, I'm going to church, and then I'm uh, on about my life. Uh, but this whole thing that many of them went back, went back, went away from him and walked with him no more. Now this all starts earlier on as Jesus begins to talk about eating his body and drinking his blood and how this is all uh, of the Spirit, and he, he goes through all that. It's exceptionally important what all he has to say. Uh, but in verse 60, I want us to, to sort of follow this. Therefore, many of his disciples, when they heard this said, this is a hard saying. Who can understand it? And when Jesus knew in himself that his disciples complained about this, he said to them, does this offend you? Here's why I like this passage, or it, I guess it just resonates with me, because early on, we see these great groups of people that are following the Lord. By the time this is said and done, there's going to be a very small group following him. And I feel like we live in a day where we're so focused in the church on numbers, and we don't want to offend anybody because we've got to have a certain amount of people in attendance. Jesus was totally clear that what he was saying was offending them, and as a result of it, many of them, actually most of them, went away and walked with him no more. But not only did he not change his message and says, hey, come on back here. We don't need to be so hard on that. I mean, he had preached the congregation down. I mean, from big to small. And then he even looked at Simon Peter, or he even looked at the other disciples, uh, and he asked them, uh, do you also want to go away? He's giving them the chance to leave. Simon Peter answered, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Also, we've come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. I think the reason this is so important is Jesus is truth. And we cannot change who he is and his teachings to try to make people comfortable so that we do not offend people. Uh, There's some things Jesus says that offends me. My flesh doesn't like them. But we have, to fo we have to choose to either follow the Jesus who is or really go away. Uh, I, I fear is what we've done in so much of the church is we've kind of made a Jesus that we are comfortable with so that people are willing to follow after him. Jesus is the Lord of all. He is the King of all. And we need to understand his message is going to offend many, many people. Hey, I hope today that you and I will be among those who chose what Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life.